So that is 9.20 a.m. Oh man, the lighting, the lighting is bad. The lighting is bad. Uh, let me put this on. So why is it um yeah uh, gotta get ready to go to the go to the job agency today. I was very moody. I was like I was thinking I'm not gonna make a video or or something and any of them I just have to realize that I'm like I have extremely bad mood swings. Mood swings, oh, mood swings. I'm just wearing this. Uh, you know. So, uh, don't do that. Don't focus like that. Now here, here, Tommy. Don't why is this? Here. God, what the fuck is wrong with this stupid thing? Why isn't it refocusing? Look at that. Oh man, I gotta start this again. So I don't know what's wrong with that stupid thing. Anymore. Do I have ringworm? I, the ringworm is like a... And it's like a bacteria. It's like a bacterial infection. Oh yeah, tomorrow I've got to go to the um, orphan appointment with a specialist uh, to see about my anal fissure problem. <laughs> so I, my mom had similar problem as well. So I think I think I might have some genetic thing going on here, and uh, so hopefully it's not too serious. <sighs> My weight has been fluctuating all over the place. I haven't really been. I don't feel like I'm in control of my life. <laughs> I don't feel like it. Oh, wait a minute, that stupid fan is on. I gotta off that. Off this fan. Off. Off it, fan. <sighs> yeah, I got my tummy. <laughs> That's where all the fat is. Oh, in the tummy area. Oh, man. Uh -huh. Just some discipline needed. Slight discipline needed. That is all that is needed. Yes, I've got very bad moods. I mean, my mood swings are so bad. Um, I think that might be the hormonal thing, <laughs> but um, oh, the whole so bad mood swings. Um, so like this job applying to jobs is so depressing to me because I feel like I've got such low self-esteem is like when I read the job description I'm like <laughs> I, f I feel like I I just feel like I'm gonna g I feel I guess in the, I feel like I would be humiliated like I would I would 
like I would be so vulnerable and people will see how how lacking in confidence I have and uh, it's such a difficult experience when you lack confidence and self-esteem and then you're trying to interact with someone and they can see that you're struggling so badly and they might feel bad for you I've had I've had experiences like that <laughs> where people feel bad for me because they can see how I'm struggling I've got such low self-esteem so it's like I feel like you know just telling to the person like I'm incompetent. I, I. <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? I mean, it's like. It's just such a bad feeling when you don't have the self esteem, and then it's like. You just feel so, like, inadequate, and. Um, it's such a. It's like you got a lot of shame in you because you feel like you're not, you're not worthy of, of, of respect and uh, it's such a difficult, it's such a, oh, it's a very difficult feeling to feel that kind of um, humiliation and self degradation and uh, man, it's so so difficult. It is such a difficult feeling, I'm telling you. It's like you lose uh, dignity, uh, self-respect, or you know, it's like, and you become like this, uh, uh, you know, someone who's uh, defeated or something. Um, <sighs> that is the problem. So that's the that's the thing. In my, I, I, that's one of the, the reasons I get so stressed out when I apply for jobs is because I look at these job descriptions and I'm like, I'm not. What did they say? Uh, all these stupid things. Um. Uh, you know, like you need to be uh, outgoing or. You know, uh, you know, especially talking to people is so difficult for me. It's like I feel so like um, uh, I feel so inadequate. You know, like if I meet another person, like you know, let's say it's like a customer service or something. Let's say I, I, I'm at a shop, a retail. Let's say a retail shop assistant. Every person who walks into that store, I'm gonna think like, oh my god, uh, maybe it's lack of experience, but. Uh, I would think like, oh, this person is better than me. <laughs> That's another problem. I feel like people are better than me. So it's like, um, yeah, so it's like, uh, oh man, I just don't know how to serve people with the customer service thing. It's like, oh, it's just so difficult. I just don't have the experience, I guess. I lack the experience. I guess if you have more experience, you might get better at it, uh, get, get confidence. But uh, at the moment, I lack confidence, self-esteem. And uh, that is making it difficult for me to apply for the jobs. Like yesterday, I got a call. And then this lady was talking to me about, like, <laughs> she... she, she she was a bit quiet at first, like, because maybe my voice was deep or <clears throat> because my name is Yvette, maybe they expect someone who, you know, was not like, you know, me. <laughs> and uh, so I don't know why, why she was quiet, but she, then I, I, you know, I kept on talking. I've had that experience where, you know, people when they meet me, because my name is Yvette, they think like I'm, you know, European or whatever and then uh, but when they think oh uh, so I've had this kind of thing where my name and my my looks they don't uh, go, go. <laughs> and on top of that the fact that I'm trans also I was like Jesus freaking hell so when I was talking to her on the phone she was asking me like what I want to do and you know I was saying I want to get experience and and then she asked me like, do you have like an iPhone and do you want to like, uh, 
do a FaceTime chat. I'm like, why the hell do you want to do a FaceTime chat? So I don't know. I just got very anxious because, uh, you know, she said we could do it later. I, I, you know, I thought you know, she said we can do it later. But the thing is, I because uh, I, I also was kind of lazy. <laughs> and I, I don't know. I just didn't. I got the impression that this I wasn't going to get this job because um, maybe that's my negative thing uh, thinking, but uh, you know, so I just got anxious about the whole FaceTime and then I said, oh, could I get your number and I'll call you back? And then she said something and then she put the phone down or something, I don't know. Um, then I sent an email to my employment consultant telling her, I feel guilty, I feel bad, because I feel like I didn't do my best. And um, how, can I, how can I explain to my employment consultant my issues, like how I get the fact that I feel, you know, about this trans thing. And I mean, I mean like, I, 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 what I might mean by that is like, there is that added insecurity for me with someone who isn't trans might not have to deal with, you know, the, I feel very insecure about my voice and you know I'm happy with who I am I'm happy with you know, everything you know the transition everything but it's just, it's just like I have anxieties you know it's 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 like it's like a you don't want to face another rejection if you tell people oh I am transgender and then I don't want to get. I don't want to go to the experience of people rejecting me because of that. You know, I don't know that sounds like a pathetic excuse, but um, anyway, I sent the email, and uh, I don't know what she's gonna tell. Um, so I've got to work on my, you know. Uh, I'm not taking uh, that much responsibility for my life. I feel like I'm letting myself down. You know, I feel like I'm letting myself down. Yeah. I feel like I'm letting myself down. <laughs> Oh, I did get the book, the, the Frida Kahlo book. So, uh, let's see. I have all these books. I've got all these books here. Uh, so, this is the Frida Kahlo book. It's written by uh, Hayden Herrera. Oh, it's got a, what's the pages? Uh, so, oh, it's got some color. Color for it, though. I don't know, I saw a video on YouTube and uh, yeah, I thought it will be interesting. And this is a book I got at Boundaries. I've, I've listened to the audio book. Um, so this is a, this is a large print version. <laughs> uh, so, anyway. And this is a book on uh, childhood emotional neglect. I've, I've listened to this audiobook as well. Um, signs and signals of inadequate compassion for self. Yes, anyway, so. Oh, some of my books and, uh, yeah, so. Mm, what was I thinking? Uh, Yes, it is difficult being trans in this world. People don't understand you. <laughs> but the thing is, when I go out, I don't think about being trans. I just think, I just see myself as another girl and people see me as a girl. So I don't really get to deal with a lot of the um, discrimination that comes from being trans. but. But that's the thing, I don't want people to know I'm trans, see? This is what I'm afraid of. If, if, I'm afraid that if people know I'm trans, then they're gonna, then I have to deal with all the crap, okay? So, I don't want people to know I'm trans. So in that sense, I'm sort of like hiding. 
I'm not ashamed of being trans. What I'm what I'm not what I'm what I fear is the way people would treat me differently. That's what I don't like is because when you're a girl, they just treat you like, oh, you're a girl. But if you're trans, if they know that, and then, then they will treat you differently. And I just, I just find it so depressing the way they treat me. <sighs> Can you? <laughs> so that's what I don't like. I don't like the way people treat you just because they know this about you. It's like, <sighs> so either they take pity on you or they don't like you. Or, and then you can become a target for harassment and violence. Anyway, so, um, yeah, 9.36 a.m. Uh, gotta go. Oh, man. I gotta go, man. Oh, I gotta, I gotta fail. Oh, shit. Receive another response. Oh, oh they said they received my application. Uh, all right. <laughs> Oh, so that's me. That is me. I put the jumper on. I put a jumper. Ooh, jumper. Jumper. Look how my get a bit bit of a tummy. I did. I did five minutes of voice practice. It's like ah, I just to get this um. It's actually quite exhausting. Like you just after you do it for a while, it's like oh, my my head is getting light, getting lightheaded, getting lightheaded. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> <laughs> filming myself. <laughs> Look at all these people. I've been a little bit of lipstick. I forgot about lipstick. Oh, I'm saying some of the hair is in the... <laughs> uh, finished the interview thing. I mean, appointment. Um, kind of depressing. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna have to do that work for the dog thing. It's very depressing. Mm. <laughs> I just feel sick. You just feel like you're at the bottom. At the bottom of the bottom. It's so depressing. Anyway, going home and...